So, I haven't made a video for a while. Um, I was waiting for my gimbal to come in. Um, one of those cheap eBay ones from China. Um, waiting for it to come in. It finally came in about a week ago, but I had finals for college and I worked a week at a warehouse. So, finally here. Um, as you can see, I already took apart the drone. Um, Basically, in this video, I want to show you guys how I'm going to wire my drone, my gimbal onto my drone, onto my 350QX, and um, hopefully it works. Um, I haven't seen almost any videos on how people actually wired it on the inside, like this. Um, so I hope to show that in better detail than a lot of people. Um, show you what I'm going to use real quick. Um, this is the gimbal of course it came with these parts right here um, it came with some extra wires and nuts and bolts um, also it also came with this wire right here which connects onto this um, female adapter I think um, this is the male it's for the power um, I'm going to be running my power through the landing gear right there. I don't know how well you can see it in the light. Turn it more. Um, so I don't have to draw any holes or anything. And then I, in an earlier video I showed you guys this part. Um, I'm gonna replace this with this. This just is the same as you can see. Uh, I'm just gonna replace it so I can put it in the original place that the anti-vibration mount went. So I, also got this extender for the power so I can plug it into my balance um, balance lead right here just like that it all goes together um, so what I have to do is cut this um, solder the end of this wire onto there and then that'll be connected to the battery of course um, that's about it. Um, I'll try and give you guys updates throughout the whole video, the process, but we will see. So at this point, I just soldered um, my two wires together. As you can see, I don't need the other two. Um, I just see the power lead, positive and negative. Um, my soldering job isn't very good, but good thing it's not my day job. <laughs> Um, so now I'm just going to figure out how I'm going to wire this back over here. I think I'm just going to wire underneath the, uh, battery holster there. And then, uh, see if I can attach this thing up and work. Um, I already tested it. It does work with my soldering job. So, uh, just want to give you guys an update. Um, if you guys have any questions about what I did, just go ahead and ask me in, uh, the comments section. I'll uh, be sure to answer them as soon as possible. So, as you can see, I just ran the uh, power supply back through the landing gear like I said I was going to, and I ran it underneath the battery um, holster right here. Um, I think I should have enough. Um, I'm going to slap on the top real quick and then try and see if there's enough room for the battery and everything to fit. Um, there should be though. Um, but yeah. Next I will put the gimbal on and see how it works. So here we have the finished product. Um, gimbal is all attached. Obviously my GoPro is not on there because I'm using uh, it to record right now. Um, it turned out pretty well. Um, I didn't really have any problems. It probably took about two hours, but I was busy watching TV, as you can see, and just kind of doing it at my own pace. Um, I would turn it on, but you're not supposed to turn it on without the GoPro on there to help level it out. It does work. I've tried it. Um, I'll try and post another video, um, maybe in this video or another one of, you see some test footage. Um, but it does work very well. Um, as I said before, 
I just ran it up the landing gear, the power right there. So the bottom's all nice and clean. Um, but yeah. I may... I, I haven't decided if I want to keep this mount. Um, some other people have done like quicker mounts. Quick release mounts um, from like the center more. But it's the center of gravity is really not bad. I'm right here. I'm on that uh, little elevated spot right now with my thumb. And it's it's pretty level. Um, this is with the battery in. A 20, the standard 2200 right there. Um, Everything fits in there too. So I'm uh, very happy so far. Um, I'm going to try and get some test footage tomorrow with it. But uh, no guarantees. Midwest, it's always windy. So thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, um, please comment and please subscribe. Thanks for watching.